Harvest. That's good. A little bit. Thank you very much. Boy, it's nice to see so many people out there. I guess you're having fun. Yeah. I once had fun. It was nice. I like to start off my program with an old time number I've been doing for many years. The song I got from my friend Pink Anderson. Pink Anderson was born and raised and died in Spartanburg, South Carolina. He wished he could be here tonight, but he's dead. I met Pink Anderson a long time ago, and it's a long story, and I ain't going to tell it to you. But Pink told me before he died, he said, Roy, that's what he always called me. I said, Pink, he said, you know them old songs of mine that you can er, um, almost play right? I said, yes, sir. He said, I'm giving them to you. They're yours now. You just tell people Pink Anderson used to pick a guitar and sing him, and he wished he could be there. But he's dead, like I said. When he heard me sing this song, he couldn't believe anybody still played this. He says, what in the world are you singing that kind of music for? I said, I love it. He says, you do? I said, yes, sir. And they pay me to sing it. He says, they don't. I said, not much, but someday. We become good friends. I told him, I says, Pink. He said, Roy, I said, he says, what are you doing down here at my house anyway? I said, I drove 36 hours looking for you. He says, do I owe you money? I said, no. I owe you money. He says, how much? I said, $50. He said, well, give it cheer. So I pulled up my $50 bill for my roll of ones, and he looked at it and snapped it, put it in his pocket, and then he inquired how it come to be that I owed him so much money. I said, I made a record of one of your songs. He said, was it a hit? I said, you be the judge. That a lot of money? He said, I guess. <laughs> we become good friends. It's a long story. Someday I'll tell it to you. I just want to tell you about a man named Boone. His home was down in Tennessee. He made his living. He was stealing chicken and anything that he could see. Why that Popeye's man, I said it runs so fast that his feet never stayed in a row. When a freight train passed, didn't matter how fast, he'd always get on board. He was a traveling man. He certainly was a traveling man. You know he was the travelingest man that ever was in that land. Traveled everywhere, known for many miles around. But he didn't get caught in, he never got a whoop until the police shot him. You know that the police shot that man with a rifle. The bullet went through his head. People, they were coming from miles around to see if that man was really de dead. The telegram down south where his mama lived, and she was all upset with tears. She walked up and opened up the coffin's lid, but that fool had disappeared. Traveling man certainly was a traveling man. I, I, he was the most ever in that land. Traveled everywhere. He was known for many miles around. But he didn't get caught in. He never got a whoop until a pony shot him down. Now, the boy went to the spring one day to get a pail of water. The distance that the rascal had to go was, was about a mile and a quarter. He got there and got his water started back. You know, he stumbled and fell down. Well, he ran back to the house, got himself another bucket, caught the water before it touched the ground. He was a... Certainly was a traveling man. He was the most he ever was in that... Everywhere. But he didn't get caught in and never got a whoop until a police shot him. Oh, pick it, Roy. Ship. He was on it when it was sinking down, standing out by the railing, had his, had his head hung down. But when that man jumped overboard, everybody said that he was a fool. But 
what about two minutes right after that? Well, he was shooting dice in Liverpool. He was a... That's right. He certainly was. He, he, he must have been... Devil. Devil. Everywhere. No for many miles around. But he didn't get caught and he never got whooped till the police shot him down. Well, now the police caught this traveling man at last. They had him up to hang one day. The jury man all asked that man just what did he have to say. He begged the jury man if they would bow their heads, bow their heads in prayer. And then he crossed one leg and he winked one eye and went up through the air. Thank you, appreciate it.